A 130-year-old mansion may not be demolished after all. Preservationists say if they can't save the Schulte Mansion where it stands now, how about moving it? Luke Jones shows us how that would happen. Three years ago in California, a 6,500 square foot historic mansion is lifted from its foundation, put on the back of a truck, and driven a mile away to a new location. And now some are looking to do the same thing to West Price Hill Schulte Mansion. The nonprofit Price Hill Will says they started looking into this after other efforts to save the mansion failed. Were they given permission to move the mansion, they'd likely turn to an experienced house mover like Charlie Scott with California-based Scott Heavy Movers. The only limit you really have is money. If you're willing to fund it, basically, you can do it. Yeah, for enough money, you can move anything. To do it, they first have to slide steel beams under the house. We go underneath the floor with steel and then... Uh, you know, support it, put the steel where the floor wants, you know, where you can, and, and then you jack it up from underneath. The house can then be lifted onto a truck and carted away. The whole process only takes a few days. Where the Schulte Mansion moved, it would free up this site for the Boys and Girls Club's planned Workforce Development Center. But the plan hinges on the Boys and Girls Club's approval, since they're under contract to buy the mansion. Asked about moving it, the Boys and Girls Club said they'd wait for specifics before making a decision. Even with their blessing, though, Scott cautions the project could still hit a hitch. You say you want to go 10 miles. You might be able to go 10 miles, 9.9 .9 miles with the building, and there'll be one thing in the way. But if the mansion stays put, there may be nothing in the way of plans to tear it down. In West Price Hill, Luke Jones, Local 12 News. And Price Hill Will says because of the mansion's size, it'll cost close to $300,000 to move.